Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate Certification course. In this video, we're going to talk about sensitivity labels. After this lesson, you would be able to explain the capabilities of the sensitivity labels, describe how sensitivity labels protect information, and create a sensitivity label and policy, and utilize label analytics to review sensitivity label usage. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So what are these sensitivity labels and why is sensitivity labels important? To get work done, people in your organization collaborate with others, both inside and outside the organization. This means that content no longer stays behind a firewall. It can roam everywhere across devices, apps, and services. And when it roams, you want it to do so in a secure, protected way that meets your organization's business and compliance policies. And the sensitivity label from the Microsoft Information Protection Framework lets you classify and protect your organization's data while making sure that user productivity and their ability to collaborate isn't hindered. And so this is a quick example which shows the available sensitivity label in Excel. In this example, the applied label displays on the status bar. All right, so let's discuss some of the use case scenarios of sensitivity labels. First, you can use sensitivity labels to enforce protection settings such as encryption, or watermarks on labeled content. For example, your users can apply a condition label to a document or email and that label can encrypt the content and apply a confidential watermark. Second use case scenario is to protect content in Office apps across different platforms and devices. Another scenario is to prevent sensitive content from leaving your organization on devices running Windows by using endpoint protection in Microsoft Intune. So after a sensitivity label has been applied to content that resides on a Windows device, endpoint protection can prevent that content from being copied to a third-party app such as Twitter or Gmail, or being copied to removable storage such as a USB drive. Another use case is to protect content in third-party apps and services by using Microsoft Cloud App Security. With Cloud App Security, you can detect, classify, label, and protect content in third-party apps and services such as Salesforce, Box, or Dropbox, even if the third-party app or services does not read or support sensitivity labels. And the fifth use case scenario is to extend sensitivity label to third-party apps and services. So using Microsoft Information Protection SDK, third-party apps can read sensitivity labels and apply protection settings. And let's look at one more use case scenario. In this scenario, you can classify content without using any protection settings. You can also simply assign a classification to content like a sticker that persists and roams with the content as it is used and shared. And you can use this classification to generate usage reports and see activity data for your sensitivity content. Based on this information, you can always choose to apply protection settings later. So when you assign a sensitivity label to a document or email, it's like a stamp that applies to a content that is customizable so that you can create categories for different levels of sensitive content in your organization, such as personal, public, general, confidential, and highly confidential. Then you can have a clear text because the label is stored in clear text in the contents metadata. Third-party apps and services can read it and then apply their own proactive actions if required. And finally, it is persistent. So after you apply a sensitivity label to content, the label is stored in the metadata of that email or document. This means that the label roams with the content, including the protection settings, and this data becomes the basis of applying and enforcing policies. And let's look at the capabilities of sensitivity labels. 
after a sensitivity label is applied to an email or document, any configured protection settings for that label are enforced on that content. So what are the capabilities? Let's look at these one by one. First, let me talk about encryption. Encrypt email only or both emails and documents. You can choose which users or group have permissions to perform which actions and for how long. Second capability is you can mark the content. You can mark the content when you use Office apps by adding watermarks, headers, or footers to emails or documents that have the label applied. Watermarks can be applied to documents but not email. Another capability is preventing data loss. Preventing data loss by turning on endpoint protection in Intune. If sensitive content gets downloaded, you can help prevent the loss of data from Windows devices. For example, you can't copy labeled content into Dropbox, Gmail, or a USB drive. So before your sensitivity labels can use Windows information protection, you first need to create an app protection policy in the Azure portal. Next capability is protect content in containers. You can protect content in containers such as sites and groups when you opt into the preview to use sensitivity labels with Microsoft Teams, Office 365 groups, and SharePoint sites. The last capability is apply labels automatically. Apply the label automatically in Office apps or recommend a label. You can choose what type of sensitivity information that you want labeled. And the label can either be applied automatically or you can prompt users to apply the label that you recommend. And if you recommend a label, the prompt displays whatever text you choose. Let's talk about the label analytics. After you create your sensitivity labels or retention labels, you will want to see how they have been used across your tenant. With label analytics in Microsoft 365 Compliance Center, and Microsoft 365 Security Center, you can quickly see which labels are used the most and where they are being applied. For example, with label analytics, you can view total number of retention labels and sensitivity labels applied to the content, total labels and the count of how many times each label was applied, and the locations where labels are applied and the count for each location, count of how many files and folders have the retention label changed or removed. Now let's talk about sensitivity label usage. The data on sensitivity label usage is pulled from the report for Azure Information Protection. Please note that the Azure Information Protection reports have prerequisites that also apply to label analytics on sensitivity label in Microsoft 365 Compliance Center and Microsoft 365 Security Center. For example, you need an Azure subscription that includes the log analytics because these reports are a result of sending information protection audit events from Azure information protection clients and scanners to a centralized location based on Azure log analytics service. All right, so that concludes the lesson on sensitivity labels. The next video, we're going to learn about archiving in Microsoft 365. I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.